Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more fall DIY decor ideas. for another video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As requested by you all, I am sharing just a little bit more of some fall DIY decor ideas from the Dollar Tree, and this time we're going to be doing it more on the rustic glam side. I realized I didn't share any of that before, so I wanted to make sure I add those in for this season. And today's video is actually a special treat for you and for me because I get to collaborate with Kelly Barlow Creations. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly from Kelly Barlow Creations. Today I am bringing to you a rustic farmhouse DIY using Dollar Tree items. I hope you'll stop by, stick around a while, and see if I can inspire you to craft on a budget with me. She is absolutely amazing. She shares some awesome DIYs and tutorials on her channel and she is super creative and I just love the way her brain works. So make sure to go check out her channel and her video. I'll have them linked down in the description box for you to go do so. And if you are coming over from her channel, here I just really love to inspire and motivate you to unleash your creativity on a budget. So I like to share DIYs, decorating ideas, home improvement projects, and lifestyle videos. So if that's something you enjoy, I hope you stick around and become part of my family. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into these beautiful glam rustic DIYs. The first step is to paint our pumpkin. I just removed the little stem on it and then I'm covering mine in just regular acrylic matte paint. You could use high gloss. You could also make it really easy on yourself and spray paint this, but I was out of white spray paint and that's the coloring I wanted this to be. So go ahead and rub that all the way around. You'll buy probably a good two coats for this. Next, I took my mesh uh, ribbon and I just cut out all of the gold leaves. I cut out probably a good 10 of them to cover the entire thing of it. And I used this mesh as well in a different pattern for another fall DIY. Um, and I really love the way it works. So I'm just using the glue gun and adding that to the pumpkin and then spreading this on. The mesh ribbon is a little bit stiffer, so I don't think Mod Podge would work very well. That's why I decided to go with the hot glue because it's instant, you know, tacks right on there. So I'm just spreading those out onto the um, bulgier parts of the pumpkin and they don't all go the same direction so you can kind of play with this and move them around and then once I got all of the bigger parts done then I went in with uh, smaller pieces and kind of filled it in the way I wanted it to look. Then I took the um, brown kind of glittered leaf and I cut it a little bit that way to be down for the size of this pumpkin and I just glued that right on there and I liked the darker hue of it and then I painted the stem from the green and I painted that gold because I wanted it to be a little bit more on the rustic glam side here and um, I don't want it to be too loud and then I just kind of dry brushed a little bit of gold paint in the crevices just to add a little bit more of that gold flare to it and make it look a little bit more on the natural and blend it in a little bit and then I added another leaf on top just the mesh ones that they have at the Dollar Tree and I really like the way this came out I definitely need to probably go back in and glue down some of the looser edges but overall I think the look is really pretty it's different and I just like how um, you know kind of flashy it is for a pumpkin for the next pumpkin we are going to be using the Mod Podge and you're going to want to use the tissue paper and cut about 8 to 9 inches in width wise uh, for this to cover the entire pumpkin. You're going to start by adding a little bit of the Mod Podge all the way around, probably maybe 4 inches or so of the pumpkin at one time. And then you're going to take your tissue paper and press that on. And you're going to press it into the grooves of the pumpkin and kind of spread it out as you go because the pumpkin's round and the tissue paper isn't. So you're going to kind of be folding that over a little bit on the inner parts of it where the stems would be. And then any part that doesn't stick, you know, obviously add more Mod Podge to that area. Area, and it sticks really easily don't pull too hard because it will rip and you can see here I just got tired of putting it from back and forth and I just covered the entire pumpkin in it but you just kind of work slowly all the way around the pumpkin and it's okay if there's a little bit of orange coming through you really won't see it because the pattern of the gold and white is so busy and I'm just pressing that all the way around Thank you. 
You could add Mod Podge all the way over the entire pumpkin if you wanted to. I didn't. I just added a little bit more into the area. Again, I left the stem just regular gold and then I added the um, kind of darker brown leaves and then I added this gold leaf like I did to the last one and I thought they looked really well together and this is how this pumpkin turned out the overall look of it I think is beautiful it definitely has a little bit more of a scrunchier look to it because of the tissue paper you know kind of crinkling but to me I feel like it just adds a little bit more character to the pumpkin you guys can let me know for this next pumpkin this one's really simple I have a pumpkin actually from Walmart but you could use a previous pumpkin if you wanted to it's it's just um, like a creamy white color. I'm using that same leaf, but I'm using it in the orange coppery color. And I just glued a little piece of a uh, straw bow to it. And I liked the way this looks. This is super easy. Just add a little bit of glue to the top of your pumpkin and then glue this down. They do come with a clip so you can remove that or just try to clip it into your pumpkin. But I think this is beautiful. It's a great way and a very easy way to add just a little bit of glam to your pumpkin. And then you could also add a little bit of a cotton stem and just glue that on there if you wanted a little bit more on the rustic farmhouse side. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these fall DIY pumpkin decor ideas. Let me know down in the description box which one was your favorite and what you'll be recreating. And don't forget to check out uh, Kelly's video. It'll be linked down in the description box below as well with other fall DIY decor ideas under the playlist option to get more inspiration. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.